Hello everybody, uh, this is uh, Sin City Preacher and I'm with Strong Logos today and uh, we want to do a video series today and uh, we're calling it uh, From Birth to Eternity. We've got a lot of material to cover, it'll probably be uh, uh, quite a number of, of videos but we want to take you from the beginning of from your mother's womb all the way to heaven so, so you understand exactly uh, how everything fits together. Now, first thing uh, brother, when we're when a person is born, it says that we are created in the image of God. And we know that God is a Trinity, um, and the way I see that is, man is a Trinity, and that He is a body, soul, and spirit. Is that uh, does that make sense to you, or do you think it, uh, it's a stretch to use that kind of analogy? No, I I think you're absolutely right. I mean, we're created in God's image. Um, and that is one way to look at it. So as I look at you right now, I see my brother Frank here. I see your body, and that's Frank. And I also know that you have a soul, and um, the soul uh, is the consciousness, the, um, um, the the thought process, the conscious mind. And there's another expression to the body, soul, and spirit. People say body, mind, and spirit. So your mind, your consciousness, that's how I see the soul. And that's really the essence of who we are. It's our consciousness and our mind. Because uh, you know you're not going to live in this body f forever. Uh, and then we have a third element. Uh, I know that you have a spirit, right? So I can see Brother Frank's body. I know you have a soul, your consciousness. And uh, I know that you were born with a spirit. So, but and yet there's only one Frank. All three are Frank, and yet there's only one Frank. Okay. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Well, uh, the the problem is though, Frank, when you were born, um, you were born wrong, right? Yeah. So, oh yeah. So we were kind of born with a birth defect. And not only you, but I was, and everybody in the world has, was born with this birth defect. Uh, or can you give me a biblical verse that tells you what, uh, uh, where the problem lies? Well, Genesis chapter 3, verses 3 through 4, um, it says, But of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. Hmm. So God tells Adam and Eve that they were going to die if they disobeyed and ate this fruit. And but the, the devil, using the serpent, uh, told them no, God wasn't telling them the truth, that, that they would not die. But what what ended up happening? They ended up believing the devil and uh, they disobeyed God and as a result hmm. um, they didn't die physically, but spiritually, um, their spirit um, is dead. Well, let me, you said something very interesting. You said they ended up uh, not believing God. Well, that, that strikes me as like really the original sin of unbelief. They didn't believe God, and they preferred to believe the devil. That's where our problems are start, all started, I guess, um, not believing God. So, is there another verse that we can use to show that the Spirit is dead? Yeah, um, there is. Uh, Ephesians chapter 2, um, verse 1. And you hath he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. Okay. Uh, you were dead in trespasses and sins. Now, we know that... Um, in the case of Adam and Eve, they were told that they were going to die that day. And yet, the Bible says they lived hundreds and hundreds of years, like, I think around eight or nine hundred years more, didn't they? Yes, they did. So, if they didn't die physically, what did happen to them? Because God said they were going to die that day if they disobeyed. Yeah, their relationship was uh, severed um, between God and, and man. Okay, let me let's go back to this original concept we're talking about about body, soul, and spirit. Um, the day that they disobeyed, their uh, spirit died. We know their body lived on; their spirit died. Um, and 
the spirit of the three parts of Frank, the body, mind, and spirit. The, th the spirit is the part that connects us to God. It's kind of like um, being an internet connection. <laughs> you know, are you connected on the internet or are you unplugged? Well, uh, or are you, you, you plug in an electrical cord into the wall or are you, are you plugged in so you can get energy uh, or are you disconnected? Um, or maybe the connection, another analogy would be uh, the, uh, the umbilical cord is a connection. So it's kind of a spiritual umbilical cord. This spirit it was our original connection to God, and yet they became disconnected. Their spirit died. They no longer had that connection to God. Um, so we need to be reconnected. Yes. We need to get uh, plugged back in. <laughs> the connection, the internet connection to God reestablished. And we're going to get to that. Yes. Um, now, let's say that... Uh, Let's go to our, uh, talk about the conscience of man for a moment here. If we go to Romans 2, 14 and 15. It says, uh, For when the Gentiles which have not the law do by nature the things contained in the law, these having not the law are a law unto themselves, which show the work of the law written in their hearts, their conscience also bearing witness, and their thoughts the meanwhile accusing or else excusing one another. Okay, so the, the Bible's there telling us that man has a conscience, right? So, so God has given light to every man. He's given a conscience to every man. So even though Adam and Eve, they didn't believe God, instead they believed the devil, uh, and they disobeyed God, and then they died that day spiritually, they were no longer connected to God, they still had a conscience that tells them what's right and what's wrong. Okay? Uh, and that is the state that every person is born today. Every person since Adam and Eve, they are born with a body that's alive, they're born with their mind, their soul, which is their consciousness, uh, and they're born with a spirit, but it's disconnected. It's a dead spirit. Uh, but that doesn't mean they cannot understand right and wrong. It doesn't mean that uh, they cannot understand that uh, what is right or wrong, and when they do wrong, their conscience convicts them, and they feel guilt. Right? Okay. Let's uh, let's go into uh, this a little bit further in the, the next part of the uh, video series. Okay? okay. All right.